Liverpool v everybody. Um, nice and sunny here. Feels like the summer is on its way back. Um, so that's put me in a good mood already. But uh, big game today. I'm um, about an hour or so out from kickoff. Just want to come with some thoughts. Um, you know, this one I'm getting excited about. More so than um, matches in the Premier League for obvious reasons. Uh, this seems like one that we have a puncher's chance to, to maybe advance. It's a Champions League. You just never know. Uh, still got a lot of work to do. I know it's 2-0. This is our quote-unquote home leg. Um, we just got to be there. We got to be there. We got to fight for this competition. We all know the Premier League is, has been over uh, winning it, and even top four right now is very, very much so um, looking to be all but all but uh, done as well. Um, obviously, there's still a chance, but this is the competition that, um, one, you want to see us do well in. And, and, look, winning it right now, to say it, and all the other teams that are doing well, you think it's a bit of a stretch, but you never know. Um, and it's a, it's our key to get back into the Champions League if we can't get top four. So, look, we've built this kind of pressure on ourselves to get through it. It's going to be a tall, tall mountain to climb, but this is where we are. Um, this is the position we've um, been put into or put ourselves into, however you want to look at it. So this is what it is, and um, I expect to see some, some fight today. I think the boys realize, same thing we realize, is that the Premier League is over, particularly when we're putting out lineups that we did in the last game. Which, you know, I was looking at LFC Day Trippers and um, Grizz Khan, one of the guys on that channel, brought up a good point. And it's, if you're kind of throwing the Premier League, which with that lineup you kind of, or, or you're preparing for the Champions League, why aren't you resting Robertson? Why aren't you resting Genie? Two guys who have played, I don't know how many minutes, but lots and lots and lots of football. That just seems strange to me. So... You know, I mean, look, I, I, I'd expect Genie to start again in this game. Um, I like to see Genie, Nabi, and, and Fabinho, and just keep the the the, the young guys um, back there in the back. Uh, Kabak, I think, might be injured actually, so maybe he can't do that. And I heard Firmino was injured, but then I also read that he might be fit for the game. I don't know. Um, that can almost be a blessing in disguise. Um, I just want to see some kind of change in the formation. I really do. Um, I'm I'm really not expecting expecting it because it just hasn't happened um but that's what i would like to see for this game but again let's just i, I just hope that the boys don't um have some sort of catastrophic uh crash tonight and we crash out of the champions league i really hope to see some just some real fight some real fight and, and belief and holding on to at least one competition we're out of everything else pretty much and this is the one that we need to be playing for, in my opinion. At this point, you know, that's just what it is. Clock will say what he wants. At this point, you really should be putting everything into the Champions League. Obviously, doing what you can in the league to at least get to top four. Um, there I say, you know, Europa League, if we can't get Champions League, which I, I, I makes me almost sick to even say that. But um, this is the competition that we're still in and, and still have a good chance when you look at the aggregate score. So, um Champions League is a funny old thing, man. You just got to be switched on. This this is a good team we played against. We're playing against. Um, we were able to get two nil um, on the away leg, um, and I just hope that we can we can secure that. And um, you know, let's see what happens from there. Um, whoever we play in the next round is going to be difficult, uh, but that's something we can figure out when we find out who we have to play. As for now, we have Leipzig, and I want to just see. Um, some determination, man, like we haven't seen in a while. Um, and I just hope that that's something we can get. We really need to see Salah and Mane um, getting back up there with, with, with goals. Um, obviously, Mane, I don't remember the goal scores in the first game. I want to say Mane scored one in Salah, I thought, but I'm, I'm, I can't remember. But um, we just need to see them both, particularly Mane. I got to say it, particularly Mane, who's a guy between the two, I would always say when the chips are down, he's the guy who would step up. And, um, you know, he's been – all form for a while now. All form for a while now. Overall, overall, not even talking about just goals. Just his overall play has been um, a bit suspect, to say the least. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. And um, and it feels good to be excited because lately in the Premier League, you j I just haven't been, no matter who we play. It, it's just hard to get excited. Um, you watch and you hope and you root and you support, but you, you're just at a point now where it's just – it doesn't really give you that much excitement, um, but this competition does, and and um, yeah, just hope to see um, 
some some real some real um attitude in this game today. So that's me pregame Liverpool versus uh Leipzig in Budapest, I believe it is. Hopefully I didn't get that wrong. But yeah, I'll see you guys at halftime and um looking forward to seeing what the lineup's gonna be. Talk to you soon.